Welcome back to Dark Souls 2. It's called the first day in New Game, New Game Plus 7. We are back to New Game Plus 3. Finally moving away from uh, sorcery. Even though it's actually kind of, we actually killed a couple of bosses more um, already. But I felt like I needed to say this. Because it's very important that we moved away from that shit. <laughs> if I'm being honest. Yes, I'm not the biggest fan of uh, of range attacks in um, in Dark Souls uh, 2 because they're not that strong. I mean, maybe they are strong in New Game, but New Game Plus 3 it becomes you know a little question. But we're back to the mundane. Now that I think about mundane sounds boring or monotone or the same, so. I guess it's accurate. So, what did we do last ep last uh, episode? Yes, episode. We oh, we killed the uh... oh oh. We have no more oh. Well, I don't think we have any more any more uh, things to trade at the the, the the mad the sorcery dude. So he's not important anymore. What's important is that he killed all the sons of bitches, <laughs> aka the Lost Sinner. Yes, Lost Sinner is a son of a bitch. I think it's a she. It doesn't matter. Why am I doing this? I don't know. I'm an idiot. Accept it and move on. Yep, dead. I don't know why I actually went to a fight. There really was no need. The problem is going to be the Red Phantom Exploder. Yeah. Yeah. He is a... Uh... Yeah. Well, let's see how we do this. Oh. Oh. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I meant to say he's easy. I'm sorry, I truly am. <laughs> Actually, that was too easy. Um, cool. Cool. I cannot complain, because if I complain, it will be stupid. It'll be like, the fuck are you complaining for? You just one shot at uh, an exploder. That, that's no reason to complain, it's reason to celebrate. And I agree. Let's see if we can poison this guy before he... Nope. Nope. Well, let's see if we can do it while he's coming towards us. Um... Yes. Yeah, indeed. We can do it. And he is actually retreating. Fun. He actually showed me his back. My dude, you do realize that... No, shh. Sh Let the enemy make mistakes. As uh, in the book, Out of War, do not interrupt an enemy when he's making a mistake. There we go. I don't know why I went with the, with the Out of War book. Might be because I'm doing a let's play on Inflat of Rome and I'm really enjoying the game. And I'm completely missing the fucking... Or well, not actually reaching the enemy. Even though I'm using a longbow, you know, you just don't have a very good range. Historically wise, uh, apparently it sucks. Oh well. Women men. XPC Reaper, thanks much for the hosts. I appreciate it. Also, I won't say uh, hello, but I don't know if you are in chat or not, or is it just automatic. Point is, thank you. Die. Thank you. All right, let's go and uh, light up the. How uh, how is the uh, well? First of all, welcome. Second of all, how is the lost sinner? I don't know. We're gonna see now. Uh, she gave us trouble last uh, last new game, and the previous new game too. Actually, more trouble in new game plus than in new game plus two. But since I'm using a weapon and I don't. Uh, rely on sorceries or casting amount, we should be fine. 
Yeah, we should be fine. Uh. Well, uh, let's see if that's true. Also, I'm gonna say it live because I said it last time, uh, last on your stream. But it's so good to see you stream again. It's been a very long time since I saw you stream. So it was good to see you. Whoa, whoa! I can fly. Bad reference, maybe. It's showing R. Kelly. Bad reference. Uh, all right. Right. She combos. <laughs> Alright. This is why she's a problem. She's too quick. And she crosses distance. No sorcerers. I'm going to read the Oh! Oh! Oh, yes! Oh, baby girl, yes! Two shot it, yes! This is why this is superior. This is why. The only reason why I like melee over casting is it one shots the casters. Or two shots the casters, sorry, my bad. Ugh. Fucking casters. Of course, I'm gonna have a good time with my friend uh, Lost Sinner, who's gonna die so easily. It's gonna be a walk in the park. What park? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know any parks. <laughs> Actually, shit. I mean, I know local parks, but I'm pretty sure the, whole, the rest of the world doesn't know mine. City's natural local parks, so I'm not even gonna try. Well, actually, you know what? There is a cool name of a park we have. It's called the Dragon's Park. Uh, Dragon's, uh, yeah, Dragon's Park. So there we go. We have a cool name of a park, even though it's actually connected to a rider and uh, a school, and not actually some kind of mythical, a mythical creature. Still cool. Yes, a rider's last name is Dragon. <laughs> Actually, it's nicknamed Dragon. No sense. Anyway. It has been too long. Also, it's really good to see you. Well, I'm glad to hear that. Coming from you, I'm glad to hear that. Uh, Alright. Um, we should get a Fragrant Ranch Pure. And that fight went amazing. I, I have nothing much to say, but amazing. So. Now we go to Saldora. Actually, no. First, we have to fight uh, Scorpion and Snajka. Then Saldora. Mm. No. Wait. Did I did, did I do Urim Peak? <laughs> no. No, I did not. But that means Huntsman's Copes. Actually, my bad. My bad. Huntsman's Copes is on the chopping block. Chopping block? We're in, a, we're in execution now? Yes, we are. We kill bosses. It's a profession. Look it up. Did I get a soul vessel? I don't know actually. Even though we have soul vessels enough for next four new games, let's actually see if I did get it. More like Huntsman's Copes. <laughs> actually, that's what I called it. Before I actually check the name, I call it Huntsman's Corpse instead of Copes. And I did it. Alright, I did get it. So, yeah. Also, it's kind of fitting because uh, lore wise, Huntsman's Corpse was used for the, uh, for the Iron King to hunt down undead as prey or as animals. So, yeah, it actually was used as a um, hunting ground. Which is why it's named Huntsman's. Also, the four, the skeleton kings or skeleton lords, they're all basically high-ranking nobles that maintain the area. And the executioner is, of course, well, the executioner. So yeah, it's actually pretty fascinating lore of Huntsman's Cops. Also, on Sprite. 
Yes, a moderate glass. Or a moderate cup if you want. Um, I didn't want to get the long glass. Or the coke glass if you want. I didn't feel like it. Because it's, uh, it's a little bit too long to clean. You know, this is a much, much smaller diameter, so it's easier to reach. While in the coke glass, you do need a little bit of effort to reach the bottom. That can make that can be made into a sexual sexual joke, but I really do not care about making it. Yeah, <laughs> I'm more interested in killing uh, bosses right now than making a sexual. Joke. Here we are. Oh, uh, you know what? Since we're not gonna fight any bosses, let me get my ring, uh, Ash Knuckle ring, for more durability. Damage. Oh, come on! Oh, what the? Two shot. So, I'm gonna be honest, I don't know if I'm gonna stream tomorrow morning, because I plan on uh, recording 10 episodes of, of the Imperator to Rome tonight, after the stream, and I wanna upload them uh, tomorrow, and it's gonna take a whole day. And I'm doing that much because I'm kinda reaching the, the limit that I uploaded from previous like two weeks, and I wanna have more and more videos ready. Because in June, I'm not going to be recording anything. It's going to be a finals month. Yes, we have a month, we don't have a week. Although technically speaking, you can say a week. But it won't be accurate. So yeah. Which basically also means no streams for like almost all of June till like the 25th of June there will be nothing there we go so who do we first kill um, executioner or the, the skeleton lords well obviously the executioner dies first because it's quicker it's quicker to reach <laughs> than uh, than the skeleton lords. You know, you might think that makes no sense. Well, I mean, what the fuck am I doing first and foremost? Uh, this is not a place to rush it. In fact, I need to be very, very modern and very thorough because there are ambushes everywhere, and I am in new game plus three, and every ambush can be fatal. Thank you very much. Oh, I don't do a lot of damage. The fat guys. That's not good. Alright. So first and foremost, I'm gonna get the key to uh, open the next bonfire, and then I'm going to uh, deal with executioner. More precisely, executioner's chariot. We actually don't deal with the executioner; he dies. It's the horse that's evil, which is an interesting concept, I guess. There is uh, an ambush that's very poorly executed. But oh well, you can't judge them. I'm pretty sure some new people, newcomers, did fall for the trap. So I guess, you know, it works. Did I fall for it? No. I did not. Primarily because Dark Souls 1 taught me that you should look, uh, you know, look at your surroundings. That was weird. Uh, look at your surroundings and see if there's anything that can hurt you. 
there is a lot of stuff in Dark Souls 1 that can hurt you. Just now run it. Like hidden enemies or uh Yup! That's uh That's almost half of my HP gone. Just one hit. Uh, now of course I get that much damage just because I'm not using any armor in particular, but I don't know. If I actually decided to use armor, this run would be even more easy. Simple for the fact that well uh, no you know poise. And you are an idiot. But let's see if this idiot drops us the mask. The coveted mask. That is I think it's called Fallen Magnus. Or is that just the I think it's just the boss name. But the boss also has this mask, so it's kinda like I don't know. What? Mask? Mask? No mask. It's fine, it's fine. You know, it's only New Game Plus 3. But New Game Plus 7, we're gonna get the mask. I get the mask. Probably not actually, it's a very, very rare drop. So, uh, if you do want to, to farm for the mask, you actually have only 3 chances to get the mask. And that was one of them. The second one is the boss, and the third one is after you kill Demon of Song and you go to the Melfanito area, where you get the man, uh, the manslaughter katana or manslaughter katana. Which is cool. uh, I don't have it on myself, do I? No, these are all boss weapons. But yeah, I think it's called manslaughter, manslayer or or man. I'm pretty sure manslayer kind of makes more sense. For a name of a katana. So yeah. Um. There you fight one more of those guys with that. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, that's where you fight them and you can uh, get the mask. So yeah. Only a couple of places for the mask. It's unfortunate, but oh well. Better hope you have your your RNG set on high or on low. I. How would you actually? I mean, more RNG means less chance of getting the item, right? Well, less RNG would mean you have a higher chance of getting... Or is it the other way around? And there we go, and we are done! They won't follow us. And I remember there was talk with people who were speedrunning this game that, oh no, because uh, NPCs are gonna follow you more. What are you doing? Because NPCs are gonna follow you more that they are just gonna stay here all of a sudden. But no, no. From Software didn't go that far with the whole AI coding. Although this motherfucker is staying, so I guess poison for him. Yep. Yep, poison for him. Sure. <laughs> Um, am I gonna use my sorcery? Uh, probably. I see no reason not to. Let's just see if we're gonna duke this guy. Duke! I was about to say duked, but no. God, good. Chug it, and now we have to deal with the skellies. This is like the hardest part of this boss fight. Damn skeletons! But you should be fine if you quickly find the the necromancer.
And basically, there's no reason to fight the skeletons. Because they're all gonna die. Well... Some of them are gonna die. And there we go. Now let's just buff up. So what's uh, energy challenge this? This is Jugame plus 3, Trifling Emperor, and welcome! It's Jugame plus 3. You can see it on the top left corner of the stream. Motherfucker goes directly into attack. Amazing! AOE bitch! Also, welcome, Trifling Emperor! Welcome! Glad to see you! How you doing? Up! Oh! Hmm. Or am I remembering wrong? I mean, did Miracle Magic and New Game Plus 2 was hexed, right? Yes! Uh, mir magic, Miracles and Dark Miracles... Yes, Miracles and Dark Miracles were New Game Plus. New Game Plus 2 was Magic and Pyromancy, and New Game Plus 3 is Mundane. Yes, it, it does have a theme. Every, every New Game Plus is gonna have a different weapon, and this one is, uh, we're using Mundane Infused uh, Blue Moon Greatsword. Yeah, yeah, a little bit of a challenge, but not really, because it's a melee weapon, and I'm a... Not to brag, but I'm a very good player, <laughs> so it's not that much of a challenge. In fact, it's more like a... Let's see how many times I'm not going, you know, I'm going to die because of stupidity. Or because of the game just being the game. There's different possibilities. Please. I'm not superhuman, I'm just very talented at this game. It took me hours and hours and hours to master. So yeah. <laughs> uh yeah, yeah, no problem. No problem. Don't worry about it. Uh let's go kill the So what's on today's agenda? Well, uh killing uh Cosmos Copes, uh, killing, uh, clearing Urdum Peak, clearing a uh, sunken iron, ca iron uh, castle, or just iron castle, I don't know what you're gonna call it, and uh, possibly clearing, uh, and maybe clearing the gulch and the gutter. I'm gonna think about those because I'm not really certain if I want to do them, and I don't know how long it's gonna take me to. Uh, clean up every area now talking from right now it's gonna take me about half an hour to clean Huntsman's Copes okay Huntsman's Copes is actually kind of easy to clear so let's say it's gonna take us two hours to clear Urban Keep and Iron, uh, Iron Keep so I'm probably gonna stop streaming after I uh, kill uh, kill the uh, Vanguard yeah yeah, authority is the giant red dog. Yes. Vanguard is the Mohawk. Mohawk red. I could be rem I'm also a lord! 
Why are you attacking me? I'm one of you guys. I'm a lord. Can't you see my crown? Maybe the problem is there, there cannot be four lords. The power cannot be shared equally. It has to be. One guy has to have more power. The question is, which one? The one with the bone wheels? The one with the large skeleton army? Or the one with the, with the skeleton kings? You might say, well, the kings, you know? Well, what is a kingdom without an army? Or a kingdom without its people? Nothing. It's just a title. Basically, king is useless. Because let's be real. The fuck is a king supposed to do if he has no kingdom? There's no power. Whoa! Almost did a blitzquake there and got encircled. I don't want that. I don't want that. Let's. It's the paradox influence, okay? It's, it's the fucking strategy game's influence. Here. Why I'm doing these references to, to World War II tactics. And I guess modern too, because it's kind of like the main tactic now used. It's like uh, the army being supported by uh, by the by the air, um, air force. Basically, how it goes is before every attack, the artillery uh, does a bombardment, clears it up. The air force then provides air support while the army charges, and tanks are there to prove support to the infantry. And uh, tanks are thus unless you are not supposed to be used to killing other tanks. But that's what the artillery is for, or the and air or the aircraft support. While the infantry, you know, does everything, and tanks are there just to give more firepower to the infantry. Now, of course, we now have uh, anti-infantry uh, vehicles and armor fighting vehicles, which basically are one uh, are basically tanks that deal with the whole platoons of. Uh, of infantry. I mean, if you've seen the Russian Terminator uh, line of uh, armor fighting, uh, it's not actually an armor fighting vehicle. It's a fucking infantry support vehicle or tank. It's a fucking tank. It's a T90 chassis with uh, with four 30 millimeter cannons on it. I mean, for fuck's sake, that, that can bring down that can bring down uh, aircraft. <laughs> and of course, it has like homing rockets too. Because why not? I mean. Why not? I mean, that's also the. I guess you can argue the U.S. Bradley, I think it's called, that has, uh, or is the Vesel that has the um, 50 caliber machine gun and uh, two homing rockets on cable that are designed to kill tanks. I could be wrong. At some point, I'm gonna fall asleep. <laughs> National Independence Day, so I had to quite a few beers. National Independence Day? Can you wait, 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 wait? National Independence Day. Hold up. Trifling Emperor, from what country are you from? Because I forgot if you told me. I forgot. I'm sorry. I'm bad with mundane information for some fucking reason. I can repeat I can remember some things that are very, very not important, but some more personal things I can't remember. Maybe it's a good thing for privacy. Maybe. Norway. Wait, Norway has a national independence? What? From the Denmark? From the Danes? This happened like what, 14th century? Maybe 15th? No, wait. Uh, 15th century, Denmark and Norway is still in a dual monarch union or personal union. Sweden too. Sweden gained independence in like what, 16th century? When did Norway do it? Oh, from the Swedes! Oh, okay. okay. Swedish Empire, 17th century, right? Because after the Northern Wars or the Northern War, Russia kind of handed seed in its ass and took control of Finland. So, 17th century, right? Or am I am I wrong here? Please do tell me if I'm wrong. Because <laughs> I'm trying, you know, I'm keeping history here because I love history, and for weird reasons, I don't actually want to be wrong about historical events. So do tell me if I'm completely wrong. Also cool, Norway, great country. Would love to live there at some point in my life. Great country. Maybe top five.
maybe top 5. Top 10 certainly. Oh, Alright, let's go deal with Urban Peak now. Should we just run past everything? I mean... Oh, Gavlan, Gavlan, no, 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 good sir, good sir, Gavlan should not be ignored. He's too important to us, primarily because of the arrows. Mm. Alright. Although, fun fact, I guess my country can have like three dates. As Independence Days. It's kind of fun. Well, actually, no. That's actually not true. We have, I'm pretty sure we have only one Independence Day and we have like two Liberation Days. <laughs> Which is very funny. But yeah, we have like a couple of Liberation Days. Uh, one is for World War One, of course. Yeah. Austria, Hungary, Bulgaria. You know, separate the country in half. The second one is World War Two. You know, Germany, Hungary. Croatia and Italy separating the country into like four parts. Actually five, I think Bulgaria also took a chunk. So it's like five parts. So yeah, and we have an you know Independence Day when we got our freedom from the Turks in like the 19th century. More precisely in 1835. Which if you're interested in that kind of history, we had two uh, two freedom uh, uh, revolts. One in 1804 and one in 1814. Uh, and the second, I'm gonna have to check that. Actually, I wanna, I wanna, maybe, uh, maybe the first one actually lasted to 1814. I personally like the the first one more than the second one because of some histor, uh, more personal reasons and all that shit. But uh, let me just check. Okay, so 18, uh, the first one was from 1804 to 1807, or more precisely, Revolution. There were two, there was not only one. Don't fuck with me. There were two. Yes, uh... Yes, okay, so the first one, I was right actually about the first one, my correction. The first one lasted from 1804 till 1813. The second one started 1815 till 1817. In 1835, the Serbian kingdom was formed again. Right, right, right. There we go. Need a reminder there. We got our constitution in 1814, but the union between dissolved in 1805, I think. Okay, so I was wrong. It is the 19th century too. Cool. <laughs> A lot of revolutions in the well, a lot of liberation in the 19th century. If you think about it, a lot. So yeah, we had two revolutions or two revolution. I mean, that's kind of stupid. Revolutionary? No, they were not revolutionary wars. They were freedom wars. There was not any kind of revolution. They were fighting for independence. Actually, a lot of all, all of Balkans were fighting for independence, and naturally. You know, if you ever want, if you ever wonder why Serbia has such good ties or strong ties with Russia and tries to have them, which I'm pretty sure most of Western Europe, politically wise, is wondering, is because Western Europe didn't help us much when it came to to, to our liberation. Russia helped every fucking time, except World War One. That's where we all helped, like the French, Greek, uh, English. Our own forces that were in exile, everyone helped. But World War II, all Russia and the partisans. But for the Turk, from the Turks, Russia. Russia helped us, which also kind of helped us form the principality. While we were still kind of on the administration of Turkey, but we were mostly independent of it. And of course, like I said, 1845, the Serbian kingdom was unstable. Denmark lost, uh, lost us when joining Napoleon in Sweden swooped in and took control. <laughs> hey, Napoleon was great! 
Okay, the problem was he marched to Russia. <laughs> Never marched to Russia. <laughs> Unless you're going from the eastern side, then you're good. From the west, no, <laughs> don't do it. Not worth it. The eastern one, yeah, it's not worth it. Although now, debatable. Because now it's all about movement and the fuel is not gonna last that long. I mean, can you imagine a Europe where Napoleon didn't march from Russia? That would be a very interesting Europe. It will also not be a united Europe, because, you know, Napoleon was a great uh, proprietor of liberation. I mean, he unified the Germans for fuck's sake. Yes, he did it to nerf Austria, of course, of course, and Prussia, but he still united the Germans. That's something. He also destroyed the HRE, which is also very, very important for world history. And he also gave every single nation its national drug. So it's important. And the metric system. Don't forget the metric system. The most important thing in modern history is the, met is the metric system. Or for science, the metric system. It's fucking trivial. There's like two countries that use it, maybe three. And one of them is America. And then you wonder why America is like what 35th when it comes to science. <laughs> they use the mat they don't use the metric system. Actually it's not that, it's not like corruption and in fact it's cool. But it's a joke. It's a good joke. Especially when you're making fun of someone who's supposed to be the world's greatest power, not using a more superior system. It's just, it's just too funny. Although you can argue China is not more important, but that's an argument we made on different times. I thought the US used the metric system. Uh, well, no, actually. Actually, uh, some scientists do use it because it's, like I said, usually because they are inter you know, doing international work and everybody wants it. But when it comes to day-to-day -day life, it's the imperial one. Fuck, every documentary uses uh, the Imperial system. Like, what the fuck, you're a documentary. Only recently they started to use the metric system. I have to. I have to. He killed me. One of the most useless bosses in this fucking game killed me. Good job. Good job. Didn't expect that much damage from a jump, but... Good job. Yeah, it's confusing. Everyone uses the metric system to get times. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And GG well played. Yeah. Yeah. Run over, start again from new game. <laughs> that would be funny. I would never do it. It would be funny. Oh no! Fuck it! Fuck it! Fuck it! Just don't give me a kiss, please. Thank you. Let's uh, try again. And maybe this time, don't fuck it up. Give me that 1.5 million souls, please and thank you. I'll be honest, I have died more times to cover this demon than I would like to admit. Eh. That's nothing to be ashamed of. I mean, look how much damage he does to me in fucking New Game Plus 3. If I'm not careful, he actually can't kill me again. Just because of the sheer damage he does. That's a 
en eso. Of this demon, not that hard, he just hits for a lot now. It's kind of bullshit. I mean, come on. Although you can argue, it's new game plus three, everybody's gonna hit hard. Yeah, fair enough. But it's not fair enough. I don't like to be. You know what? Never mind. Oh yeah, right. Uh, Treflin, you want me to explain uh, the mundane system? I'm sorry, I completely forgot about that. Um, the mundane system works is it apparently drastically reduces your uh, your uh, endurance or ah, I forgot what it's called uh, durability. It reduces your equipment durability drastically, but if you have all equal levels, like you can see here, I have all 40, which was the plan from the beginning, it gives the maximum amount of damage, which is 260. So, some people go with 20 on everything if it's a new game, but we're going with 40. Um, it basically requires you to have all equal stats to have the most out of your weapon. Other than that, it basically scales off your lowest stat that's basically how, how it scales off and if you have all equal stats it has to give you all the damage because every stat is your lowest stat technically I mean every stat is your biggest stat too but as you can see this motherfucker <laughs> yeah the, the hammers the hammer guys Our tanks for very obvious reasons. No backstab. Really? <sighs> really? Yes, I'm gonna cast the sorcery for these two. Primary reason I wanna kill them as quick as possible. Then you should try it. Actually, don't. It's not that impressive or interesting. Uh, my advice: go with the with the dragon uh, curved sword and go with crystal magic weapon. It's a beast. I can guarantee you that it's a beast. I mean, if you hear from uh, the beginning of this run, I did my new game with the giant uh, with the dragon curved great sword. And with the uh, sorcery, I mean, yeah, it's a beast. It's too good. Just, just 
too good. What the fuck? Why? Really? No! Here's what's gonna happen. My blood stain is going to be at that platform that I jumped off to. Which as you might imagine is... Oh no! Uh, never mind. Never mind. Thank you very much. Why do I sound... Do I try to sound like Morgan Freeman? I don't know. Maybe it's Bay. Maybe. Why the, the crying emoji? Try to never or the crying smiley or you get you get you get the, the, you get it. <laughs> Do not. What the fuck? Why? Why? Oh yeah, right. There we go. I don't know why I rested at the bonfire. I actually should have done that immediately after killing these guys. <laughs> My mistake. A little... A little lapse in judgment. Alright. I can have one of those. Just because I'm the greatest dog shit player doesn't mean I can have some fucking lapses in judgment. <laughs> oh wow. No poison. Four arrows in. No poison. Am I disappointed? Yeah. Can it be helped? Great dodge. You might be wondering, do I actually mind wasting these arrows? The answer is no. I can buy them. I have the resources. This is not Dark Souls 1 where you have to die to see it, or else you cannot progress the game. Luckily, it's not Dark Souls 1 because, you know, oh look at me, I have million souls. Oh, it's the Sith fight. Hmm. I'm happy. <laughs> Gavlin's cam you. It's just normal era. <laughs> what? No, they're not. They're, don't say up. Don't say bad stuff about Gavlin. He's a good guy. He's a great guy. Everybody likes Gavlin. Everybody likes his wheels and deals. And uh, he has the best deals. We all know that. He has the best deals. I hope we all understand that reference. Or else, I'm gonna feel stupid. Thank you for dying. <sighs> Alright. Do I wanna go human? Eh, not really. Might be saying, why not? Well, I mean, what should I? You don't actually have a very nice outfit. So, humanity, as everything else in our real world, would be wasted. You might be saying what I'm referring to. To the concept of humanity, that's what I'm referring to. It tries to build the fact that humans aren't animals, which we are. We're just very compassionate animals. Something that other animals are not. I think we're the most comp 
Actually, no, we're not. I think whales and dolphins are also professional. Well, they're mammals too, and their dolphins are closest to intelligence to us. So, yeah. He seems shaky. <laughs> no, he's not. It's Gablon! He's a good guy. Okay, I'm biased. I like Goblin. Alright, I like him. He's self poison arrows. I have to like him. Alright, I have to. If he didn't sell me poison arrows, trust me, I would not like him. There's very little amount of, of NPCs that I like in this game. Number one, of course, has to be Shanlop. Number two, uh, Van Gaal. Number three, now, either Goblin or... Or uh, Gilligan. I'm an idiot. I like Gilligan because of uh, the voice acting. I mean, I also like Van Gogh because of voice acting. Duh. There's also Ben Hart. Don't forget about Ben Hart. It's also amazing. There's also Luca. Oh, Luca Till. Number three is Luca Till. Sorry, forgot about Luca Till. Number three is Luca Till. Number four. Ah, fine. Let's give it to the fucking. Uh... Me missing. And this is why you do not want the high ground. Ladies and... Uh, well, let's be real here. Let's be re real here. Gentlemen, this is why you don't want the high ground in Dark Souls. You will miss every attack. So don't go for the high ground. Basically, the Star Wars meme does not work here. Or it has to be reversed. Awesome. But yeah, number four has to go. Uh, number four is uh, oh, great, nice. Number four is is uh, Gilligan. Number five, uh, Goblin. Number six, Benhart. No, no, number five, Benhart. Number six, uh, Goblin. Number seven, Aldia. I mean, yeah, yeah, Aldia. That's about it, I'm gonna stop there, because I really... I really don't wanna go further in, because I don't know that many NPCs, to be fair. Might be saying that's a catastrophe! How can I know more, even though all the NPCs? I mean, you are this big dog food player after all, are you not? Plus, just because I know the board does not mean I have to know every single NPC in this fucking game. She's not even using her head to look. Like, look at that shit. Yup. Ah, oh, bad moment to heal. Look at that. It, she's not even. Oh. Kind of a bad game design there, right there, or boss design, sorry. Because you sh at least she should hold the head up front to see where the fuck she's swinging at. That will actually be more interesting, but no, she, she's holding it aside, which makes no fucking sense. You can actually see shit if you're holding your head at the side, and you're supposed to use your head to see. Yes, indeed. Now it's all cool. You have to sever your head to be one with the great ones. Or just lose your eyes. Cho choose your, you know, choose your devotion. Do I have the whole set? Probably not. Probably not. I mean, if I do, that's gonna be awesome. I probably not. That was a crit. A very good crit. Let's do. Oh, let's do this again.
like I said, I'm not using, I'm not losing 1 point, what was it, 7 million souls at this point? Not losing, oh, no. Oh, slow back spear. Actually, not that good of a spear, if, you think, if I actually think about it. But it's cool because of collection and shit like that. Let's uh, let's hope for another critical, shall we? That was a failure. I hate my life. Seriously. All you had to do is give me a better attack. Well, that one of them would actually would be fine, but no. There we go. He tried to be difficult. Oh, well, he's, he's still alive. Now, can I want to use. Uh, uh, last light. Um. Last light, right? Hold up. The horror game. It's called Last Light, right? This time it is. Oh shit. Outlast! <laughs> Last light. I don't know, last light, no, outlast, outlast, uh, where the doctor says, uh, he's still alive, no, it's not doctor, it's an executive who is also a victim, says, he's still alive, filled with one of his nightmares, it worked too well, you can't stop him, nobody, <coughs> I'm losing my voice at this point, <coughs> Uh, yeah, you, you get the gist. It's a cool fucking, it's a cool sounding line and uh, delivery, but I ain't got the voice for that. All right, bitch, let's actually do this fair and square, and by fair and square, I have to die. Why is she a snake, though? That's the one thing I don't understand. Uh, the snake part. Like, why? I'm pretty sure poison can do that shit to you. But actually, this is a fantasy world. What the fuck am I talking about? I don't think it's possible in a fantasy world. Just, you know, just ask Marvel. In their world, gods are actually, you know, weaker than mortals. It makes perfect sense. How do you all think about it? I mean, yeah, sure. Hulk can throw around Loki like he is a fucking sack of feathers. You know, it's not like a god should be able to completely create reality how the fuck they desire because, you know, almighty power. You know, no, 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 just let a mortal fucking do it. You might be saying Hulk is no mere mortal. Bitch! Stop. We all know that the gods in Marvel are basically aliens. Not true gods. If they were, they wouldn't have to worry about the snap, about the mortality, you know, about mortality, about wounds, about anything. Because they, it, it, it doesn't work like that. As all mighty beings, they're not that mighty. I made the same twice. Fuck me. As mighty beings, they should not even wound. They should not bleed even. You know. They're gods. You don't hear about Zeus bleeding, do you? No. That makes like, no fucking sense. Why the fuck does a god bleed? It makes no fucking sense. I'd say what about Superman. Now Superman is complete fiction, too. Okay. If Superman was truly real, the two things would happen. One, humans would start to worship him as a god. Two. 
Cubans will proclaim him as a heresy and try to kill him. There is no third, third way here. Wow, you remember lines from Outlast? I barely remember anything from the game. I don't remember new twins. Oh yeah, the new... Yeah. I, yeah. And the doctor cutting off your fingers. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. that's Dr. Uh, Dr. Verniger. Right. Whoa, 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 whoa. He, who's actually not a doctor? He's actually an executive too of, of, of finances. He became a doctor because he became fascinated with biology. And they were like, sure. I mean... We're experimenting on crazy people! Why not? <laughs> Knock yourself out! <laughs> it's actually not that funny, it's actually pretty sad, but... Is it that far to imagine that maybe in some country that's happening? People don't care? And that's a, um, that's a thing I... Uh, that's the thing, I think. People who, you know, say that society should be more accepting of a convict or ex-convicts, sorry, and people who do have mental disabilities or mental issues like bipolar or insanity, is that uh, you have to accept the fact that most people don't care. But if their own lives are shit, why should they care about someone else's life? It doesn't work like that. We, you know, even no matter how much we are as social animals, we're still selfish. We still care about ourselves first. It's the, called the survival instinct. We all have it. We all care about ourselves. And then someone else. And most people don't care about someone else until it's like the closest family. But then it's all selfishness. Because they don't want to lose someone who's dear to them. It all comes down to selfishness. Human greed is, in the end, good. Because greed can be looked at different looks, you know. Greed is the whole, you know, everybody wants the money, as much money as possible, just the money. And greed in some aspect is love. You love someone, you want to be with someone, you want to have that someone. In a relationship, you know, marriage and shit like that. It's greed. You're greedy. Because you want to be with someone and that someone, you know, maybe someone else wants to be with that someone. Then you're greedy. Because you want to have that someone that someone else cannot have. You see my point. It's it's just fucked up. There's no virtue here. And I think we're forgetting that. That we're trying to be too much virtuous for a species that no matter how much we try to distance ourselves from being animals, we in the end are animals. And we have desires like every other fucking animal. You know, there's a reason why most women want to be with someone who's successful, who's rich or shit like that. Because they want to have security. Everybody wants fucking security. Unfortunately for most of society, it was the man that's supposed to provide that security. Now it's a little bit different. Now, you know, now I think we kind of made the problem of making it, you know, like it's, it's the guy's thing to do this, to, you know, provide for the family shit, which kind of ruined us. From the point of if we try to find some woman who is more successful than us, you kind of look at from the other men like, oh, what, you're incapable or some shit like that? Now, of course, they will never say it out loud, but let's be real here. They're thinking. Which, again, it's the competitive nature. It, it's complicated. As everything else, humans are complicated animals. We just have to accept that fact first. We should stop talking about the humanity and shit like that as something so important, and it's not. They're all bloody animals. Fire heaven. <laughs> yeah, this is a... This is a nightmare place. You know, I, I don't think I talked about this, but I did a piece on my uh, uh, language class. We had to write an essay. I wrote an essay about human nature and about humans how we all have our own selfish needs nothing is pure nothing is generous there's no charity work we all do it for ourselves you might be saying well how can you say that there's a person out there who donates millions of dollars for people who are, who are uh, hungry or who are homeless that's that's nice that's beautiful 
The thing is, they're not doing it out of the kindness of the heart. They're getting something from it. Don't you ever fucking forget that. It's either satisfaction of knowing they did something good, or it's the right to say, hey, I did something from the society. The fuck did you do? It's a moral high ground that those who donate know they have it. Don't you fucking think that they have it? They know they have it. It's just that if they choose to impress or not, it's a subconscious thing of everybody wants some kind of satisfaction for something they do. There's no reason to do... Most humans don't want to do... Actually, all of us don't want to do shit when there's nothing in return to do it. And some of them, even that small payoff is enough to do something. If you're wondering what I'm waiting for, I'm waiting for the second invasion that it seems to not happen. Let me open the door, maybe then it will happen. Uh, so yeah, um, from the kindest of things to the worst, it, in the end, it all comes down to personal satisfaction, about personal gain. Some people just like to have the moral high ground of knowing they helped some. Well, moral high ground. Somebody just want to know that, hey, I helped someone. I feel nice, and they do feel nice. Don't fucking think they don't. They feel like they're doing something because they want to feel nice too. They want to know they're doing something nice. Nothing is fucking pure. Nothing. Nothing. You might be saying, oh, that's cynical. Yeah, but it's also real. <laughs> Come on. It's cynical, but it's real. And guess what I got for that, uh, for that uh, essay? Fucking C. Why? Because my professor didn't agree with the viewpoint. And I was like, dude, I, I wrote that. It's not about you to agree with it. It's, it's it's a piece that I wanted to write. You should you should grade it because of a piece, not because of opinion. You know, it's like what do you talk about lit you know, literally arts? You know, I don't agree for some things that some great master you know ma writers wrote as masterpieces, and all of a sudden, should I you know should I be ma uh, derate their work or belittle their work? No, they're masterpieces. I wrote something you should grade on the basic of the language, not on your own personal opinion. That's a bias. And he, he to be fair for the professor, he did admit it. He did admit that he just didn't didn't agree with it, and that's why it's a problem. And I respect that. He at least understands why. I mean, that was also mutual respect because the pro professor did respect me. And it's like you know he knew that I was a realist, and it's like you know he asked me about opinions and things. It's really weird, but yeah. Even when somebody else, you know, like, do uh, answering, you know, explaining a, a, a literary piece, he would ask me, like, you know, what do you think, as, you know, I'm, I'm getting a viewpoint of a realist, not trying to look from it like, oh, you know, this is what the art, uh, what the, the writer is trying to tell us. Because, you know, it's true, most books do have real life implications, that's nothing, you know, that's not unheard of. Most books do have some kind of moral story to tell, because that's what people want to hear. They want to hear moral stories, they want to hear the good guys winning in the end. But guess what, it becomes boring. It's not reality. And that's a problem, I think, people... Sometimes you can get so bored of fantasy that it's just like not entertaining anymore, because, oh yeah, the good guys win again. Woohoo! Great! Another fantasy set piece where the good guys win. You might be saying, well... Lord of the Rings, you know, the good guys win. Yeah. But here's the thing. You can only hear me praise Lord of the Rings as the best fucking fantasy movie ever made. There's a reason for that. I love fucking Lord of the Rings. I don't... I... And it saturates my taste for, you know, good guys winning in fantasy. I don't care anymore. I will actually be enjoyable to see sometimes the bad guys win because... Let's be real. Life, usually the, the bad guys win. In life. Just because they don't try to be moral about it, they try to use every single technique possible to get their goals done. You know, that's how it goes. You might be saying, well, the law catches up. Yeah, well, most laws, unfortunately, no matter how justice is, like, justice is blind, justice is still corrupt. It's funny when super rich people donate like millions uh, to something and want people to pray to them. Or something, but that one million is a tiny fraction of what they are worth, so it meant nothing for them. Exactly. It's all about personal satisfaction. I mean, even look at Bill Gates, he donated three billion dollars. 
That's still a fraction of his money. That's not. Nobody cares about that. Why should a you know a guy who earns 20 million a year care about a million spent on charity for good PR? The fuck are they supposed to care? It's just an investment in their PR. So it's like, mm, who cares? Give them a million. I mean, the fuck. If you haven't noticed, every single famous person that has some kind of controversy always donates to charity. Always. Every fucking time they donate to charity. Why? First of all, the public loves it. Immediately softens the blow. Second of all, they try to say, oh, I'm still a good person. I'm capable of donating to charity. Even though they're not that much good of a person because they're in the fucking middle of a controversy, for fuck's sake. But you get my fucking point. Point is, nothing is pure in this world. We just have to accept that. The only thing that's pure is a fucking child because it knows nothing. It's blind to everything, it's blank to everything. A child is a blank slate that unfortunately the world fills too quickly and becomes not pure anymore. Now, of course, we're not talking about some kind of spiritual purity. We're not talking about human, human, human. No, no one is fucking pure. Nothing is pure by human action. <sighs> because spiritual, first of all, Spirits don't exist. Second of all, conscience is... <sighs> I think people should know this, like, from personal experience, but... Conscience is a human definition of things. You know, a Greek philosopher defined conscience as a monster that's inside of you, nagging at you for doing something wrong. <laughs> so it's not, you know, it's not some kind of divine thing. Oh, it's fucking... Humans knew about conscience way before anything else. It's just funny how something can erase that kind of knowledge. It's just insane. But it's it's fully capable. Time invented by humans. One say, how is that possible? Well, not literally. Time as time itself, you know, as nature is not invented by humans, but as time that we know it, as the calendar as a 24-hour system is invented by humans. Humans divided the day into 24 hours. That's not some kind of natural, natural thing. No, the humans did it. You might be saying, then how did they tell time before? By sunsets, by the movement of the sun. To this day, you can do it. If it's 12 o'clock, you will see sun right above your head. It will be 12 o'clock. So... That's why you know you hear about the sun clocks and all that. So how, how they divided time, how they, you know, created time. Humans did a lot of good things that we seem to forget for for the benefits of ideologies and beliefs. It's just so fucking wrong. It's unbelievably wrong. But you can blame the schools for that, about the, the society itself for that. I mean, who do you blame for anti for pro disease people? Who do you blame for that? Society? Internet? Too much information? Uh, distrust in the government? Who do you blame for that? When vaccines were first coming out, people were happy, people were celebrating that discovery. But... I don't know who said that, but there is... Uh, there's literally suffering from success. Vaccines are suffering from success. And I'm not talking about DJ Khaled, I know the album Suffering from Success, that's a bullshit title. But, vaccines literally are suffering from success, because they were so effective in killing disease, that people forgot how horrible they were. People forgot how horrible fucking, you know, polio is. People forgot about smallpox, people forgot, people forgot. And then it's like, a, you know, it's like, astonishment, like, how is this so effective? How is this, you know, why is this happening? It's just insanity. How people are ready to just discredit something that works. You know the saying, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And vaccines certainly ain't fucking broke. They're only improved upon. Literally, you know, vaccine, uh, earlier vaccines, did they have mercury in them? Now, no mercury. 
nothing. It's all clean. It's all, you know, biologically created. Nothing to have some kind of controversial substance in it. It's literally to help you fucking build the immune system. And I'm talking, and here's the thing. I'm talking about this because, you know, whether I like it or not, people still turn to to the U.S. when it comes to social situations and political situations. And it's it's annoying when you hear people in, in Europe doing the same mistake that Americans are doing. It's just annoying. We should, we're supposed to be fucking better than that. We usually are better than that, but... Sometimes, I guess not. And it's annoying. It's annoying that people believe that kind of shit. And because of the internet, information, no matter how wrong or right it is, it spreads. It spreads fast. So yeah, uh, that's what I'm talking about. It's just annoyance. And some people think, you know, it's smart to debate with people about it. No! Don't fucking debate! You yourself, your literal self is the proof that vaccines work. There's no fucking debate. Separate the people. Simple as that. You believe in fucking disease? Congratulations. Get the fuck away from my family. And from children who actually cannot be fucking vaccinated because of literal medical reasons. The immune system can handle it. Not fucking go around saying, oh, my religion. Fuck your fucking religion. Human life is more important than fucking religion. For fuck's sake, humans survived without religion long enough. We're gonna survive now, too. Save your fucking kids. Such a caring parents you are. And yeah, I decided, you know, I'm not even gonna... You know, there's no point in debating. There's no point. You're not gonna change the viewpoint. You can't, you know, you cannot teach a dumb person. They're gonna be dumb forever. There's no point in trying to teach them anything. Unless they feel it on their own skin. And the children start dying. Then it's gonna be fucking a slap in the face. Like, oh shit, what could I have done? Well, I wonder what you could have done. I wonder, truly wonder what. Just force uh, them getting vaccinated. Yeah, I agree. I'm all for governments forcing people to vaccinate. I'm, I'm for it. I agree. 100%. I don't give a fuck how it is. Is it tyrannical, totalitarian? I don't give a fuck. It's human life we're talking about here. For diseases that we cure. You know, it's not fucking cancer or AIDS that don't have yet a cure. Can you imagine? Can you fucking imagine? Let's be real here. If there's ever going to be a cure for cancer, it's going to be via vaccine. Not fucking pills, a vaccine. Are people gonna not use it? Even though they know, you know it's gonna cure fucking bone cancer or prostate cancer or uh, uh, breast cancer. No, you're still gonna do it? Oh, really? It's gonna save your life, no? Alright. Don't come crying around if something bad happens to you. Don't. Just don't cry about it. You made your fucking decision. The problem is, stupid parents are making decisions for their children. That's the problem here. People are just... <sighs> Listen, I've said 50 million times, I do not like children. I don't want to have children. But, I don't want to see children hurt. I don't want to see children be exposed to diseases. I don't want to see fucking children suffering. And it makes me fucking mad because parents are making the decision here and they're stupid. Not fucking smart. Certainly fucking not. They forgot what fucking polio does to people. There's still there's a video on YouTube that shows, you know, person who the last person who uses mechanical lungs to breathe because of fucking polio. And then tell me, do you want that for your child? I'll wait. It maybe maybe we're back to natural natural selection. Maybe this is it. Maybe this is the natural selection of modern times. You know. Ho oh, ho ho! Shit, that was close. So 
So yeah, maybe, maybe this is just natural selection. But again, it's the children. That's not a problem. If it's the parents, fine. They're gonna die. Oh well, I'm not gonna be sad for them. They had the cure. Just take it. Just like I'm not sad for I'm sad for you know for children being the story of oh yeah praying is gonna kill your fucking cancer. I'm sad for the children. The parents should be fucking in prison for life. For the for endangering a child's life because of their fucking beliefs. Or at least 35 years. That's what I'm mad about. It's it's just And you might be saying, well, you know, the parents have the best intentions. They want to care about their child. How the fuck do they care about their child when they're willing them, exposing them to fucking diseases that we eradicated? Okay, it's not... It's not some fucking thing that we don't have a cure for. We have the fucking cure. It's there. It's literally there. Just take it. People just like, no, man. Fuck that shit. But we need more we need more scientific research. That 13,000 papers done. Nah, fuck that shit. I don't believe that. We need the 13,001. Okay? That one is gonna make a difference. Oh, it's 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 for vaccines? No, we need 13,002. That 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 the two one, the second one's gonna make a difference. What do they expect to find? That's that's my the biggest fucking question is what the fuck they expect to find? That they're right? That their biggest fee you know that, that oh yeah vaccines don't fucking work. Guess what? We're gonna bring out you know polio is back. Is that what they hope for? That the children suffer again? That people that children can't move in a single part of their fucking body, is that it? Is that what we hope for? Or what they hope for, sorry, the pro disease people hope for. Is that is that it? We're hoping for children dying from smallpox, is that it? Is that what we're we striving for? Fuck's sake. And I fully support governments who say children and pa parents should, pa should pay a fee and sh their children should not go to school because of their fucking shitty decisions. I fully support that. Any government who says that, I support it completely for that, I mean, for that particular thing. They should, parents should fucking pay, uh, pay a fine. Children should not go to school if you're not vaccinated. Go fuck yourself, you're a public risk. Get fucking vaccinated. I'm I'm riled up. Damn it, I'm riled up. <laughs> Such a forlorn. You invading? No. All right. For such stupid fucking reason, I'm getting riled up. Exactly. Some children just don't have the immune system to support it. Just don't have it. They don't. They don't have it. You know, basically, my mentality should be: Oh, I'm vaccinated against everything. The fuck should I care about the other child? No, that child deserves to live as much as I do. Our life is equal to one life, not to fucking more different. You know. My life is not equal to 15 other children's lives. No, for fuck's sake. It's equal to one. Why the fuck should my, you know, should I endanger someone else's life? Why? Why should I cut someone's life in fucking half? Or even more? No.
I also heard that uh, uh, Scandinavia, Scandinavia, sorry, uh, Iceland banned people from visiting the country if they're not vaccinated. For that, I applaud Iceland. I applaud it. Great decision. Best decision ever. And the reason is, you know, logical. Like we only have like what was it, seven hundred thousand people or three hundred thousand people. The disease is gonna spread quickly for those who do not have, you don't, do not get vaccinated. So yeah, it's actually, you know, I, I applaud it. I fully support it. I support every country make, you know, doing a ban on people who are not vaccinated. Fully support it. They should do it immediately. Why should they endanger the native population? Because I mean, we can see what smallpox did to fucking natives in uh, when the Europeans came to Central Euro uh, Central America. It destroyed the population. Destroyed it. Diseases destroyed it more than you know. People say you know Europeans slaughtered and no fucking disease did. Diseases destroyed the population, not the Europeans. Europeans did their work. Don't worry, they did also. But it's a disease that truly crippled the empires that were in Central America. So yeah. Um. I fully support. Mm, 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 mm. I fully support governments that protect the native population. And native, I don't mean like native native, like the Americans have the natives. No, I'm li literally mean the people who were fucking born there. Not many, not many countries have natives in their country. Usually the colonial nations that had them. I mean, they should be protected also, of course. But. What I'm referring to is the uh, people who are born to the country and are citizens of the country. But then, you know, you might argue, well, isn't that the price of freedom? You know, I should decide if my child should get vaccinated or not. You know, it's my freedom to decide. Bitch, first and foremost, freedom is free as long as you don't infringe on someone's people on, on someone else's freedom you're endangering someone else's freedom to live therefore you have no fucking freedom in this case is that how, that's how it fucking works your freedom is not more important than other person's freedom it's equal Okay, he can't hit me. Oh shit, the, the phantom. Oh, that can be a uh, problematic one. Why do I not have the fucking grass knuckle ring? <laughs> it's like one of the most important rings uh, for me right now and I don't have it on. I don't have it on. <laughs> Idiot. Well, I'm off to bed now. I'll catch you some, uh, some other day. Good luck with the run. The run. Thanks so much for uh, traveling, Emperor. And thanks so much for staying around for my ramblings. I appreciate it. And have a good time. He's gone drop. Roger. There we go. Let's see how this one goes. Perfectly well, it seems. So yeah, we're gonna kill uh, the old Iron King and uh, 
Uh, then we're gonna kill World Red Authority and then we're gonna be in the stream. Let's actually hope we survive this guy now, because <laughs> we might not. <laughs> uh, idiot. I mean, it's a good thing. I don't want to fight him also. So it's a good thing he died. Uh, Alright, time for a Sunken Iron King. Or, uh, Old Iron King, sorry. <laughs> Sunken Iron King. <laughs> uh, kind of mixing up with the DLC, aren't I? Yes, the same. Alright. This should be an easy Is it gonna be an easy fight? I don't know. You don't have a, a range zag and uh, this fight is very easy to have a uh, range. But it's melee and yeah, it should be easy. To be fair, honestly, I just spent, you know, it's gonna be almost a two hour stream. I haven't even, I haven't even finished one last subscribe. That's an achievement. That's a very good achievement. Is it though? Is it? I mean, yeah. I think so. Yeah. Oh. Let's go and kill this guy. You have this time. Okay, not when he does that bullshit. There we go. I think that was no hit. Which is 
honestly not that impressive because it is all Iron King and he's not that it's not that difficult when it comes to boss fights, so it's like you know cool but not that cool. Yes, we get it. Uh, bonfire. You again? Well, yes. It's me. <laughs> oh, let you know. Oh yeah, it's uh, down the, the... Well, no, actually. Let's first get the key. And then we're gonna go down to uh, Royal Vet Authority. And do that, and deal with that... Um, son of a bitch. Oh, he's not son of a bitch, he's just annoying. Ah, uh, fair enough. Thousand HP. <laughs> oh, that's a uh, that's quite an amount. Okay, let's first of all see if there's any invasions. So I don't want to start off this area and then be like, oh, congratulations, you just got invaded, bitch. <laughs> Prepare your ass. <laughs> Yes, it's a very untasteful joke, and I'm sorry. Actually, no, I'm not. Fuck it, it's fine. It's fine to me, though. So, there's that. Are you supposed to laugh? No. I don't care, actually. I did it myself. Oh, yeah. Baby girl. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah, that fast frost attack surprised me. That one was a doozy. <laughs> is that even a correct saying? That's a doozy. I think it is. I could be wrong. I think it is. I wanted the back. I got the back. I hope Forlorn doesn't invade. He might do. He might do. He did not. Good. Good. Oh, where the fuck is this guy? There? There we go. What the? There we go. Let's see if he will do the same thing again. I hope he doesn't. But, uh... Tried some cool karate shit. Not today, bitch. Not today. Tomorrow, maybe. Day. Day, I win.
There we go. Now we can go down the rabbit hole and uh, fight Royal Rat Vanguard. Why do I sound so annoyed talking about this name? I don't know. <laughs> I'm annoyed talking about his name. It's very weird, but I am annoyed talking about his name. My name is Gilligan. Hi, Gilligan. I have everything for me, but not. We even need that. That's a good question. You you just don't get it. Listen, I understand completely. You want more money. More souls. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Well Well I guess. Oh come on. Your hope. Cheers for that. Hopeless I tell him. This time that's the one that leads uh, It is not <laughs> It is not Shit So we need to go to the second Largest one We need to drop off to the first uh, Enclave? Exclave? Whatever I think Exclave Might be wrong uh, We need to drop that one, not the second one the second one leads, uh, skips basically the, the Royal Rat uh, Royal, uh, Vanguard fight, Royal Rat Vanguard, uh, Vanguard, and goes immediately for oh shit. And basically leads you to the gutter immediately. Well, we want to fight this one because we need all bosses. After all. I like this entrance, I like the cave and all that, I like that. And maybe uh, I'm gonna talk to uh, Gilligan just for the rat story, because he talks about the rat game. Stop that. I mean, let's be fair, the only reason why the bonfire is so close to the fight is because uh, right after the boss fight is the, Cove uh, the Covenant uh, NPC. If there was no Covenant NPC, there wouldn't be that uh, bonfire. It's the same reason why the bonfire next to the door and Dark Souls 1 to the forest. It's because it's the Covenant fight then. You know, Dark Souls 2, Dark Souls 1, you know, they want to be a little bit more merciful when it comes to Covenants and all that. I think the only one that's hard is uh, the brave, the brave lords. There's like they're the only one it's hard to get to them. But other ones, other, every other one is easier. Come here, my red friends. Friends, what the fuck am I talking about? The reds. Also, why the fuck are rats in this game spreading uh, petrify, uh, petrify ability and not poison? Because you know, they're fucking rats. And we all know what rats are famous for. For the Black Death. For the Black Death, or whatever you want to call it. The point is, yeah, that. That destroyed almost 60% of Europe. Your population, that is. I mean the countries too. It's still not done. Really? Let's reapply the buff.
and we're done. <sighs> Let's go join the join the covens of uh, of the red guys. Hi. Is this place human? Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Covered in disease. Thing. All right, let's go. Uh, let's go and talk to Gilgan. So, want him to talk about the rat king that lives underneath. That we have met. Uh, we have met now for the fourth time. Good. I did buy the, the bright box, right? Good, because I want to have them and I want to use them as much as possible and come to a very difficult fight. Because why not? I mean, what, what's the point of killing them? All right, let's hey. talk. Oh, I should have listened. Huh? Seen some book? You wouldn't believe. Oh, I thought it. Oh, look, that gave it home. Okay. Such me. It's where the people around here toss all their rubbish. Corpses. You know. Whatever they'd rather be rid of. Oh, and and those human statues. Who are they supposed to be? Anybody, I suppose. Probably just some old pagan costume. I love pagan voice. What's it like at the bottom of the hole? And why in the hell would I know? <laughs> oh yeah. Somebody told me that the grave of a saint lies below. Not built by the king, no. It did back to that time long before him. The tomb connects to that hole. And there's there's something about some rat king. Some rat king down there. Help! <laughs> if the old rat is as rich as they say, maybe I should go and pay him a visit. Uh what? I wouldn't advise that again, but Let's go back to the bonfire and end the stream there. I hope you enjoyed the stream. Bye.